What's up, y'all? I'm out here on the range on a cold, cloudy day. The rain's held off, thank goodness, though. So I've been out here having some fun, and I'm going to keep it rolling with some more 410 shoddy fun with the good old Mossberg 590. Starting off with a good one. All right, y'all, let's talk about this thing just a little bit and then we'll put it back to work. So again, another 410 shoddy. This time really needs no introduction, but we're looking at the Mossberg 590, 410 bore chamber. Now, I believe the other model name that they give this particular one is the Persuader. It's their 18 and a half inch, basically the security model. Of course, anybody that knows just a little bit about shoddies at all knows about the Mossberg 590, the 500s, the Maverick 88s. Very, very nice, super solid, dependable shoddies just really really basic no frills kind of thing this one again 18 and a half inch barrel it's got a six plus one capacity of three inch shells or a five plus one of two and a half inch shells we'll start from one end and go to the other again really quick rundown really nice rubber recoil pad on the back here uh, just a regular old composite polymer stock you do have a sling stud down here in the bottom of your stock going up here as far as the checkering on the grip here not bad at all nothing super super aggressive but plenty to keep a good grip on it moving up a little bit still looking at the bottom obviously you got your trigger group there you got your action release right here to release your action tube um, your mag well here now nothing fancy beveled like that beret i tested not long ago but not super super sharp but it is still some sharp edges as usual internally and breakdown very very similar to other 500s 590s the mav 88 they're all very very similar i have broken this one completely down already cleaned and oiled it up i've actually got a very very old video on the Maverick 88 if y'all are interested in seeing a quick breakdown of these things. Going back to the top of the receiver, you got that really nice 500, 590 tang safety. That to me is like one of the most intuitive spots for a safety. Any shoddy that I've run, that right there is the best spot. I mean, you go straight forward. There's no coming off the trigger for cross bolt safeties in one position or the other. I just really, really like those tank safeties. The only time that I don't like a tank safety is when it's got a pistol grip because then you're coming off the grip to get up here and try to take the safety off. It is drilled and tapped, as you can see, to stick your rail if you want to put some kind of optic on here. Dual action tube bars, as you can see, both sides. You got the good old standard classic Mossberg security type polymer hand guard there, so no problems with that. And then moving on to this in here, you got the brass bead up there on the front, and this is a smooth cylinder bore, so no threading for chokes. And then you've got the uh, cap here for your uh, magazine tube, which this is one thing that differentiates the 590 from the 500 is you've got that removable cap and uh, it's got what they call a clean out mag tube and then of course you also got your sling point right there on the end and then i guess the last thing to mention would be the trigger not a whole lot to say i mean it's a shoddy trigger what it what is there to say a little bit of take up really nice light break on it though nice reset and then right back on for a pretty nice break. And that really is about all there is to cover with these Mossbergs. Just really basic shoddies to get the job done. All right, let's pop some bottles, y'all. I got six rounds of Federal High Brass Game Load, three inch number uh, six shot, I believe it is. I got three bottles set up down there. Hopefully these will do pretty good. I thought I heard something fall. Let's see what happens. Uh. That was all six of them. Not too bad there. All right, y'all, that target load gets the job done, but it's not very exciting. I got us a few more things down there. I got a couple pineapples. I'm gonna hit those with a couple of three inch uh, triple alt bucks. Then the melon here, I'm gonna hit it with a two and a half inch slug. And then last, we got a boom boom down there. I'm gonna finish it off with that target load. So this should be pretty good stuff here.
Then get to boom, boom, but the rest of it went good. Y'all know that boom, boom ain't getting off that easy. I'm trying to be stingy with my 410 bucking slugs, but that target stuff just ain't no good for setting them off. So got us a triple alt buck here. This is going to do the job for sure. No doubt about it. All right, let's send us a few slugs down range and see where we at with those. I got five of these Federal Power Shock, uh, two and a half inch slugs loaded up. These right here, I tried a few of these before I started the video to get my point of impact as usual with this thing. Some of them ejected, some of them didn't, just like with that KSG. These things, again, are trash. I'm gonna run a few of them here after these, though. So I got five in here. I'm gonna put a couple right there at the 25 to see where I'm at, and then a couple at the, and then uh, I'll go out to the 50 yard. Let's see what we got here. I think this is impacting about where I want it. All right, good there. Let's go out to the 50. I can't even see where I'm impacting, so I'm just going to hold the same place. I'm going to go a little higher. Think I went too high there. I should have stayed where I was. Yeah, I should have stayed where I was on that one. I went too high there. So not too bad. I'll take that. All right, I got us a couple cans of shaving cream and a watermelon down there to take out. Got uh, some triple alt buck for the cans and then one slug for the melon down there. All right, that was a pretty good combo, but y'all know we got to end things off with a boom. Now we're talking. All right, y'all, I think I'm gonna call it right there for what was unsurprisingly a fantastic performance out of this Mossberg 590. I really expected flawless performance out of this thing, and that's exactly what I got. Other than that goofy boom slug again, those things are just terrible. It did the same thing as the Keltec was doing. I could rack the heck out of it a bunch of times and finally get some of them to eject, but a couple of them I had to get pry out just like with the Keltec. But other than that, perfect performance. Now, I'm gonna try to avoid comparing this to the Keltec because I want to do some things to both of them and then do a real nice head-to-head -head with both of them in the same video but i will say as far as point of impact this thing's almost right on the money it's exactly like i like it to be right at a, a pretty much a six o'clock a little bit higher than the six o'clock hole so perfect perfect alignment with this sight picture not so much with the sight system on the Keltec. if y'all did watch that video but again i'm gonna make some changes to that and get it how i like it and then we'll put them up against each other but as far as this one by itself again absolutely perfect performance so let me know down in the comments what you think about this Mossberg. Any of y'all out there have one of them in 410? I'm sure probably most of y'all have got some type of Mossberg shoddy in some kind of gauge. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed the video, as always, reach down and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you got your notifications turned on so you get notified when I upload new stuff. A reminder, as always, if you're doing some shopping, check out those affiliate links in my video description. I've got a little bit of everything down there, and if you buy anything after hitting up those,
those links, I get a kickback from them towards the channel, so I really do appreciate that. Once again, a big thanks to all my Range Gang members and all of y'all for supporting the channel the way y'all do. I had a lot of fun out here with these couple of shoddies, and I got a lot more stuff planned, so stay on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see y'all soon.